Today I'm just going to show you a little application I recently discovered cal called CalCurse. And it's uh, kind of an advanced little calendar to-do list. Think of it like kind of like Google Calendars in your command line. Um, it stores everything locally, although you could probably obviously SSH in or share files uh, to, to access it elsewhere. But it's uh, not installed by default on most systems, but should be in your repositories for most modern systems. And just use your package manager, aptitude, apt-get, synaptic, whatever, to install uh, CalCurse. Once installed, just type out the name CalCurse and hit enter. And here we are, we have a calendar, appointments, to-do list. Um, and it says down here in the bottom in the red, it says data files found. That'll be loaded now because I've already started this up once before so there are data files. I'll hit enter and it loads it up although I don't really have anything in here. You can tab between the three different sections. You got your little calendar here, appointments and to do by hitting tab. Obviously the one that's highlighted in red is the one you're in. And of course at the bottom of the screen it tells you exactly what keys to press to do what. So right now we're looking at today which is March 5th and um, I can use according to the bottom of the screen L to move right uh, and uh, H to move left, so you got your regular like Vim style keys. J to move up, and uh, K to move down. I'm sorry, K to move up and J to move down. So you can go to other months as well. So let's go ahead and okay, right here on March 28th, I'll put in a appointment. So once I have that date highlighted, I'll hit Tab to come over here to appointments. And if you look down at the bottom of the screen, A is to add an item, right down here. So all I have to do is hit A, and it asks me to put in a start time. And I'll just put in, like, dinner, and it's asking for uh, hours in the day. Uh, so I don't know if you can, how you would put in other than military time, because it doesn't allow you to put in AM, PM. So I'm just going to say, you know, for 5 o'clock, which would be 1,700 hours, I'll hit Enter. Here you can put the end time or the duration in minutes, and we'll figure out the end time for you. But I'll just put 1,800 for an hour later. And then the description, I'll just say dinner. So I'm going to have dinner that night. And there it is. Now, if we tab back over to our calendar window here, I can move away from that date. And you can see that since there is something on that date, it's highlighted in blue. You also notice the fifth is highlighted in brown. Um, and that's because that's today. Uh, so I can come up here and let's, um, let's put something on the 15th. So tab there. I'll hit A, start time. Oh, if you leave it blank, I can just hit enter here. It's an all day event. So I can say, um, work on videos for YouTube, because I usually do spend pretty much all day doing that. <laughs> Hit enter, and it's been added there under all day. Now you also notice we have a to-do list here. And um, once again, tab over there. Hit A, and I'm going to type in make more tutorial videos. And we'll hit, you know, it asks for priority, one through nine, one being the highest priority. So I'll give it a one because you guys are important. And we'll leave that there. So now, you know, regardless of what day we are in our calendar, that will always be showing up in our to-do list. And you can add multiple things in there. Um, obviously, there's other keys down at the bottom here. Save, uh, import, export, and Q to quit. When you quit, it saves the data, hit enter to confirm yes I want to quit and of course if we go back in there now what just happened let me quit out of here again yes clear the screen okay I guess that was a one-time little glitch there loading stuff up uh, everything got kind of moved up but as you can see when I went back in uh, we still have our dates highlighted here Sorry, my phone was ringing. I apologize. I should have muted that. Um, you can see on the 15th and 28th, right away, I've got stuff scheduled because they're highlighted in blue. And we have our stuff on the to-do to list. So I just thought I'd share this little application for you. If you are a command line person and you like to schedule stuff, I thought this would be a great program. I personally use Google Calendar because uh, I can share it with my wife and all that stuff. And it's easy for her to use. And But this right here is also very great and uh, more suited for certain people. 
So I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description as well as a link to uh, filmsbychris.com forward slash Amazon uh, where you can help support the site by buying stuff off Amazon uh, at no extra cost to you, what you would normally spend on Amazon. And also check out the donate button up on my site at filmsbychris.com to help support the site. I thank you again for watching and I hope that you have a great day.